Did you know that you can cut a corner like this, which is 54 degrees? This vector right here is 54 degrees with a cutting head that only can tilt 45 degrees. This one is cut with a tilter. You can, um, but you have to do it in a certain way. You have to use our magic button in iGEM's CAD CAM. I'll show you how to do that. So, I've opened our toolpath corners samples part. Uh, and I'll go to cam and use our auto function to get a toolpath on there. And from here you can see that, because you know we have a 45 or actually put a 46 degree uh, maximum cut angle on our tilter. So all these red vectors, they are exceeding 45, 46 degrees. And that means we cannot cut this part right here. So let's jump into toolpath and it's really simple. We have a loops function. If I click on that, look here what happens in the corner. It changes the way it moves in the corner and I'll show you how it, do how it does it. Um, so we have a corner here and this surface right here is 45 degrees. This surface right here is 45 degrees. We're just extending the cut from this side till so it passes the bottom of this cut. So it passes, flips the jet over and then goes this way. And it gives a really good result, I tell you. Um, it will take a little bit more time, but it's totally worth it if if you want to cut this type of corner with a 45 degree um, cutting head. So this is, um, if we're going into settings here, this is a minimal loop I've chosen here. We can also use just a loop which will extend all the way. Let's see if we can do this here. This standard loop will go all the way to the edge here, the bottom edge, then switch over to this side and go that way. The minimal loop will go here and then over there. And that is determined of the maximum cut angle on your cutting head. So the maximum cut angle on this cut here is 46 degrees. You can also change the way our loops look. If you want to have a straight loop, a smooth loop, or a radius loop. I usually go for a straight loop because they take up less space. Um, so hit close, simulate, let's see what this looks like with our tilter, uh, like that. Let's jump to these corners. There's a little loop there as well, like that. That's what makes this funky little See, there's a loop here, so it makes a funky little move there. Um, right there. But anyway, uh, this is a great way of cutting 45 degrees cuts when you have um, an external corner. It really gives a good, good result and it enhances the functionality of a cutting head which only can cut 45 or 46 degrees um, angles. Yeah, uh, that's it for this video. Catch you in the next one.